Hi, my name is Dawn and this is my daughter Emily. We are here in our home on Treaty 6 land today and we both like bath bombs so we thought we would go on an adventure to make some bath bombs and maybe you'd like to join us. We try to use things that you would find around your home instead of having to go out and buy specialized stuff when we're doing self-distancing. Um, and so our first batch right here, which turned out to be a disaster, was made with lemon juice. Maybe you'll have more success with that method, but we did not. Emily's gonna show you how much fizz you get with lemon juice bath bombs. So we're going to try today to use the powdered citric acid, which you can buy at health food stores, and uh, we'll be right back to show you how to do that. Hi, we're back with all of our ingredients to make our new batch of bath bombs. We're starting in this bowl with one cup of baking soda. I'm gonna mix the dry ingredients and that's one cup of baking soda, half a cup of Epsom salts and half a cup of citric acid. I'll do that while Emily's doing the liquids. Um, now in the original recipe, it had one teaspoon of water, three teaspoons of olive oil, a little bit of food coloring and two teaspoons of an essential oil but we're going to do this batch with no essential oil so we're adjusting the recipe just a little bit to do two teaspoons of water three teaspoons of olive oil and some color so go ahead Emily you start and I'll do the dry ingredients what color are you gonna use uh, I think I'm gonna do blue blue okay that'll be nice mm -hmm. all right we're using Epsom salt crystals because that's what we found at the store when we bought it. So it should work out fine. We'll see. Go. How many of these? Three? Uh, yeah, three of the olive oil. And we have two of the water. Okay. I'm going to mix this. And then we can start adding your liquid. Now they say to let your bath bombs dry for a day or two. Um, we made some earlier today, which we'll show you at the end, and it didn't take that long for just a tiny little bath bomb to dry. So if you make them really small, they dry a lot faster. If you make bigger bath bombs, then they'll take a lot longer to dry. Do you wanna mix sure. the liquid in? Okay, I'll pour. Um, they suggest pouring it in slowly so that it doesn't have too much of a reaction, but don't worry if it has a little bit of a reaction. Ooh, the blue color is really lovely. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a lot of a reaction. Okay, start <laughs> quick, faster. <laughs> okay. Um, we also found when we did a batch earlier see. today that um, once you make your solution, your mixture, that it actually expands. And so we try to use these, uh, and we're gonna try to do them again, our Easter eggs, our empty Easter eggs. Uh, so putting the, the mixture in here, it actually <laughs> puffs out. So if you're using little Easter eggs or some type of molds, it will expand. So don't fill them all the way full. I'm gonna just That's use good. my hands. Yeah, go ahead, use your hands. You can put the dirty spoon on our plate. Uh, okay, Emily has it all mixed and we're going to try molding. I think, do you want to try doing a whole egg or do you want to do a half an egg? Let's just do half an egg. Okay, so you start, you have dirty hands, you go yep. first. Uh, the mixture is not super wet, but enough that you could make it stick together if you are really pressing it in. Oh, that looks really great. Okay, set it on our plate. I like that one. I'm going to try one too. Um, I'm going to do one while Emily shows you the one that we made earlier. Right. We have just a little bit of, uh, we made a little ball and it dried out really fast so we can show you what the end result is and how it compares to the lemon juice one we showed you earlier. Ooh, it's taking a little bit of time. There it goes. It's a slow fizzer, mm -hmm. but definitely more than I'm the lemon juice. Thanks for joining us. Have a great time making bath bombs at your homes.